Wearable cardioverter defibrillator is a device which is worn on a vest, monitors the heart rhythm continuously and delivers a defibrillator shock in case of life-threatening ventricular arrhythmias. Implantable cardioverter defibrillator is a similar device which is implanted subcutaneously for long-term use. WCD is meant for temporary use for those who have a high risk of life-threatening ventricular arrhythmias but are ineligible for an ICD implantation as per the guidelines. WCD has patch electrodes for giving the shocks and a monitoring system built in into a vest while the defibrillator with battery is worn on the belt. WCD can also give audible alerts and does not need the help of a bystander as it works automatically. This is in contrast to the Automated External Defibrillator or AED which only gives audio prompts and bystander intervention is needed to deliver a shock. A typical WCD device has a maximum shock output of 150 joules and could terminate ventricular fibrillation in first attempt with 7200 joules shock. Still, programming at maximum energy output has been suggested for ambulatory patients to ensure good safety margin. WCD has been called as a life vest till the lifeboat arrives, meaning that it can be considered during the period when the patient is not eligible for an ICD as per guidelines published by medical societies. These include patients with left ventricular dysfunction within 40 days of acute myocardial infarction who are at high risk of life-threatening ventricular arrhythmias but still ineligible for ICD as benefits have not been proven. Another possibly more important reason to use WCD is when ICD has to be explanted due to infection and there is a waiting period before a new one can be implanted pending the clearance of infection with antibiotic therapy. As expected, the most important Achilles heel of a WCD is compliance. Real-world studies have shown average daily usage as low as 17.3 hours, which means that there would be no protection during the remaining period. In a randomized control trial involving 2,302 patients, of the 48 participants who died, only 12 were wearing the device at the time of death. Another meta-analysis with data of over 32,000 patients showed that mortality while wearing WCD is rare, 0.7 per 100 persons over 3 months. Like